Hello everyone, this is Afreen. In the last chapter, we had an introduction part of natural resources and its three components of which one is air. Now let's recall what are the five layers of the atmosphere. So the five layers are troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, ionosphere and exosphere. The air in the atmosphere around the earth contains nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide and six inert gases, nitrogen dioxide, sulfur dioxide, water vapor and dust particles. The total mass of gases in the air is largest in troposphere and further in stratosphere. Here it's 19%, in troposphere it is 80%, further in mesosphere and ionosphere it goes on decreasing and there is no gas found in exosphere. Air is a mixture of several gases. It also contains water vapor and dust particles. The amount of the gases in the air is greatest near the surface and it goes on de decreasing as we go higher and higher altitudes. The air becomes rare. So here is a diagram 1.3 where it is shown the proportions of various gases. So let's see the largest proportion is of the nitrogen which is 78%. Then comes oxygen which is of 21%. Then argon which is 0.9% and carbon dioxide which is 0.03% and other gases also which is in 0.07%. Now some uses of gases. Some uses of gases. Now nitrogen. It helps in building necessary proteins in living things. Then it is used for, uh, to produce ammonia for the air package, airtight packaged foods. Oxygen is used for respiration in living things and for combustion purposes. Carbon dioxide is used by the plants to produce their food. Argon is used in electric bulbs, helium to obtain low temperature in airships, neon is used for decorative lights, krypton for fluorescent tubes, xenon for flash photography. The living world is sustained due to the balance between various constituent of gases. We get light heat of the sun through this atmosphere it uh, prevents the harmful elements, elements to reach the earth and because of the atmosphere we get fog clouds snow rain etc what is the similarity in these pictures now these three pictures show large amount of air pollution okay so how does this air pollution occur? The harmful elements like the nitrogen dioxide, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, sulfur dioxide and soot. All these mix as smoke into the air and this is called air pollution. These are very harmful for us. The air pollution is increasing day by day. The ozone layer, also known as ozone layer, the protective shell. This is, uh, the chemical formula is O3. It is at the lower part of stratosphere. It helps the uh, earth, the living things on earth and protects it from the harmful elements or the ultraviolet rays which are coming from the sun and it filters and sends them on the earth so that the earth is protected.
the ozone layer is being destroyed because of the carbon tetrachloride and chlorofluorocarbons used in the air conditioners and refrigerators 16th september is celebrated as ozone protection day all over the world to make everyone aware of this importance of ozone layer metropolitan cities have this board do you do you know about this board it is present in pune nagpur and mumbai which shows the proportion of various constituents of gases harmful elements in the air and makes people aware of the pollution recently delhi was um, in very high red alert because of this air pollution so today we have studied about air we will continue in the next chapter in the next lecture